So last time we were working on a qualifying nouns with、mm. verbs. So what kind of grammar is it? Qualifying noun.、Mm-hmm. Uh, cool. Tell me. Oh, just a moment. Qualifying noun. I forgot. Okay. To to qualify is very very grammatical term, and normally you you don't use for this. And qualify means just explain nouns. So、hmm. how how、uh, okay, how explain、okay. noun? Like for example, we are teachers. 私たちは先生です。But if we want, you want to explain them, add more information. You're gonna add something before now in Japanese grammar. For example, if you want to say we were Japanese language teachers. Hmm. We were Japanese language teacher. Teacher. Um. We. Uh, so that that I teach、uh, to foreigner、uh, through the no 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 I、uh, I expected you to speak Japanese. <laughs> uh, 私たちは日本語の先生です。私たちの、ah, okay. 日本語の、uh, the explain the detailed information. 日本語の qualifying noun. Yeah, but Japanese language is a noun, so it's just simple. You gonna add no 日本語。Sensei. For example, if you want to say we are Japanese, Japanese teacher from Japan.、Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Japanese teacher. Hmm. Japanese teacher. Yeah, I would just say Japanese. 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 Yeah, either one. We are just using noun. That's why、hmm. just insert,、hmm. no particle in the middle. But if you want to modify with adjective, we are adjective. What's,、oh, okay. what's adjective? We are、oh, okay. energetic teachers. Hi. Okay, so not teachers. Oki kuruma.、Okay. Oh sure. <laughs> Teacher, we can say Oki Sensei if we are. Okay, okay, Sensei. We were. For example,、um, yeah, we are quiet. Kawaii Sensei. Kawaii Sensei. Kawaii Sensei. Yes. Hi. We are beautiful Sensei. Utsukushi Sensei. Yes. We are quiet Sensei. Kawaii Sensei. Yes. Quiet. Quiet. Ah,、oh, okay. Shizukana. Shizukana Sensei des. Yasashi Sensei des. We are Otonashi Sensei des. We are have a lot of time. Ah,、uh, a lot of time. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Hi, Himana Sensei des. Ah, Himana Sensei des. Oh, but <laughs> but detection is not that. Right, that this、mm. section's grammar. What is it? How different those、uh, examples we generated? So maybe, uh, so we gonna use verb. Mm-hmm. Mm. We yeah, gonna we gonna use verb. So the here is the things: kawaii, utsukushi, shizukana,、mm. yasashi, otonashi, himana. Those are all、uh, adjective adjectives. So adjectives. yeah, adjectives. If it's the adjective, you just connect as it is. If it's not adjective, you're gonna use na in third. She's got na him sense, him a na sense. But you also can explain this teacher's quality with words. Okay, どんな先生ですか？毎日仕事がある先生です。<laughs> mm. 毎日仕事がある先生です。毎日は働いていない先生です。うん。<笑>はい、ゆきこさんどんな先生ですか？ああ、毎日は働いていない先生です。<笑> Don't use mine. <笑> Create one more. <笑>どんな先生ですか？ Uh, 
。あまり怒らない先生です。あまり怒らない先生です。うんうん。そう。はい。仕事がある。ある。アファメティブ。働いていない。ネガティブ。怒る。怒らない。get angry、うん。ネガティブ。so it's like this。like just。Um, modify now short forms. Hm, I'm going to put that. Oh, I'm going to say that. That's why that teacher、um, have ever been to Vienna. 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 はい,い、ね。他にも作って。たことがない先生。見<笑>たことがない先生です。もちろんそうですね。見、うんね、たことがない先生です。うん。それから他に過去形もできるよ。ビアナに住んでいる。ビアナに住んでいる先生。ビアナに住んでいる先生です。っている。住んでいる先生です。住んでいない先生です。うん。Yes, just short form. That's a key. Tsunde, iru, ina, i, s e n s e But you also can use past tense, right? Tatoeba, hm, Nihongo no sense no Nihongo kyoshi no Benkyo o shita sense des. We are the teacher. Yeah, we, te- we started. The certified program.、うん、日本語教師の勉強をしていた先生です。If we haven't,、うん、日本語教師の勉強をした先生です。してない。したことがない。したことがない。し,たことないしていない。<笑>していない。いいね。h a v e n t done. 日本語の勉強していない先生。日本語教師の勉強していない先生です。うん、OK。Something else, past tense, please. Hmm, past tense. Nihon ni sunday ita sensei. Motiran so dane. Nihon ni sunday ita sensei des. Tatoeba. Ah, ano daigaku de. Hm. Oshiete ita sensei des. Hm. X 大学で教えていた先生です。うん、<笑> OK、So it's just explain the now more details with verbs. That's the key.、うん、so here's my question. Like, when you explain this grammar, what do you usually do? Or... <笑>何いい顔したよ。ちょっと待って、ちょっとだけ待って。Okay. Okay. Okay. Sure. Okay, so I usually use these nouns, so I want you to try this, like using these nouns to generate the word. Tatoeba, toki. So, the kara, hi. So, the kara, tokoro. Hi, tokoro, toki. Um, toka, ato, koto. Um. So, those nouns are often used with. Verbs. So, for example, like very, very like a typical grammars we learned. Nihon ni itta koto ga arimasu ka? So, Nihon ni itta koto ga arimasu. This is exactly the grammar. So, we are just modifying koto. <laughs> Nihon ni itta koto. Do you have this experience? Nihon ni itta koto. So,、mm. if you wanna just、uh, describe like not Have you ever been experienced things? But do you usually do things? Nihon ni iku koto ga arimasu ka? So, for example, you're asking me, Fu is not in Japan. That's why you're asking me. But Fu obviously from Japan. Nihon ni iku koto ga arimasu ka? It means like frequently. Do you go to Japan? Or Yeah, how frequently, like, iku, present tense. But if you want to ask past tense, experience, have you ever? So you're going to use past tense. Nihon ni itta koto ga arimasu ka? So koto is such a, like, a common word. We, we generally, like, combine with verbs, right? Okay. 
about anything else. You wanna use toki, he, or tokoro? And the sentence, Yukiko san. Okay. 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 プラス時で文を言葉を作って。そうだね。えっと朝起きるときアラームをセットしますか。朝起きるときアラームをセットしますか。Since it's always things, usual, usual activity, I said present tense. Asa okirutoki, alarm will set to shimaska. Asa okirutoki, alarm will set to shimaska. Asa okirutoki, alarm will set to shimaska. Present tense. Asa okirutoki, alarm will set to shimaska. Yokoni itta toki, kaimon o shimashita. This is past tense one uh, time action. Okay, how about something else? He, he will cut the grass. Hi, so so. So, 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 うまれた日はいつですか誕生日ですね生まれた日はいつですかうんオッケーオッケーオッケーうん仕事がない日は何をしますかいやですイズアクチュアリーアリルビットアリルビットアマトリキービコーズアルイズアジェクティブカインダ
。ああ、聞いたことがある。ら<笑>聞いたことがある。こと,とだったらきっと聞いたことがある。ああ、これ聞いたことがある。うんもちろんね<笑> The, the very interesting point of like Genki's explanation is that, like, kotaga aru, they are just、um, introducing as one, one grammar. <laughs> It's、uh... verb past tense kotaga aru. It's just experience. That is true, but also this is true. This is just a modifying verb with nouns. No, no, no. Nouns with verbs. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. it's not a peculiar verb, and I don't, I'm not sure. Like, yeah, of course, if you want to like, take more formulas, formulas to, to register or memorize, that's fine, all way. But the deep down, it is just we modify now via verbs. That's it. Itta koto ga aru. Also, iku koto ga aru. We both use, right?、Mm-hmm. So, it's more, if you can. Understand this basic concept, it, I think it really helps you to learn or understand or use this grammar. Okay, let's go to the next section. Next section is about already having it. The video is at 28 minutes 57 seconds. <laughs> 